they we were like, look at this. I'm like, whoa. I'm like that's that's a that's a hard one to find. Look at that Cadillac, look at that. Rolling down the avenue. Hey everybody, it's me, Russ. Got the jacket on from the place I used to work. I added some some patches, you know. It's okay, they're fine. <laughs> but they were rebranding, so it worked worked out for me personally. Got the Everclear shirt. This is my backyard, by the way. Finally got some killer decent weather. Uh, it's Sunday night. I might as well have a seat, will you? Just kind of uh, sit down and let's... Uh... There we go. That's better, right? Let's share some share some records, shall we? This is, this is a QFC bag. It's a grocery store, quality food centers. In the Pacific Northwest, and they they're see they're repurposing the bag. They just they gave us a QFC bag for our records. Like, why wouldn't you? It's, it's smart. So this is the first one we got. This was cool. There was a lot of good finds there, man. In little record store, I shared some pictures uh, in the car show video. This was a good find right here. This is a mono Jimi Hendrix. Are you experienced? And uh, yeah, it came like this, you know, it's in great condition. And you don't see too many of these with this cover. This is like the original, the original cover from back in the day, as they say. I like that. And the next one, this was only five bucks. Beats has the sticker on it. And this is a uh, good old John Mayall, not Mayer. John Mayall, different John. Turning Point. It's kind of bluesy jazz is what I would call this guy. Good stuff. I like it. This was a cool little find. This is a Bob Dylan biography box set, five discs for 25 bucks. I was like, okay, it's in great condition. We even opened it up, huh? Looked at the records and we're like, all right, we'll get that for 25, 25 bucks. Little Bobby Dylan, man. I like some Bob Dylan. He's just, he's a poet, philosopher, theologist, or as I like to say, an interesting cat. I got that from my buddy, Leo, who was in a jazz band and played trumpet, by the way. Leo called a lot of people that he really liked. If he if he liked you a lot, he'd call you a cat. That's a pretty, that's a good cat. So, another record we got there at Beats. This is one Dana picked up, found in the stack there. Somebody desecrated it with their initials. So this is a great copy. Good old Randy Newman. This is the one Randy Newman song. So back in the day, like most people know Randy Newman because he wrote the Toy Story soundtrack, you know. You got a friend in me. But Randy Newman is so much more than that. And this is kind of a rock and roll record. He wrote this song called I Love L.A. And I remember around MTV time, this is a do not sell. It's one of those, you know. What a promo. But yeah, I Love L.A. was all over MTV back in the day. I remember MTV, watching MTV, and there's Randy Newman in his big old, you know, like a 59 Cadillac or something like that, top down, rolling rolling down the beaches. And uh, this record's in great condition. Sounds great. It was like five bucks. But yeah, it's it's more, and he does, uh, yeah, right here is on the hype sticker. This is kind of cool, too. They put the hype sticker back then on the the jacket which i don't know is that is that a bad thing you can leave a comment and, uh... i like it i think it's kind of cool they do that with cds too like cds you open a cd and usually the little hype sticker is on the inside it's not on the cellophane i don't know like it's probably both ways or maybe on the back of the record yeah or maybe they pulled this off of the cellophane and was able to stick it on here because it was that fresh <laughs> See, I can come up with these stories in my head of what really happened. We don't really know. So yeah, we went to uh, to Daybreak, and again, you, I find regularly great deals at Daybreak. There's a 
random sticker. This was 10 bucks. This is probably the most we spent there. And I was watching Chris Profi, and he was talking about Neil Young. Chris Profi's a musically obsessed channel. I like Chris Profi. He's talking about Neil Young, and my wife and I went down a Neil Young kind of rabbit hole, started whipping out the Neil Young records. And, and then I found this at Daybreak. This is a great little record. Hawks and Doves. It's got the star. This is probably why it was marked down to 10 bucks. It's in excellent condition, except for that. <laughs> you can't wait for it's like, a, little, record like a sticker on the back they try to pull off. Oh yeah, the Judy, Neil the Young one. Poor Judy. That's another one. Yeah, I can't wait. I think we ordered that too. He was talking about yeah, that. Yeah, I tried to find it. This was five dollars. Deep purple. And this is the one featuring it has yeah, David Coverdale. White Snake, it was the David Coverdale years. Yes, before White Snake. There he is, David Coverdale. Back in the day. Back in the seventies. When he rocked the, you know, the song that everybody knows. That was what, eighty seven. Here I go again on my own. Dude, this guy was working hard way, way before that. With Deep Purple. And... <laughs> the Ventures. So here's a band from Seattle. Way before grunge was a thing. <laughs> here's a Seattle band that did good. And this has got all their, like, cool, like, TV stuff. And it's got the Batman theme. I didn't know the Ventures did that. Batman... Uh, a Greenway 20th Century Fox production. And then uh, the theme from Get Smart from NBC TV series Get Smart. The Get Smart theme is on here. Uh, Hotline, Joker's Wild, A Green Hornet, 66. And then another one that was used on a TV show was Secret Agent Man from the CBS TV show Secret Agent. That's right. So, yeah. Ventures. This was two dollars. It was fun though. It's a fun record. And it plays. It's good. We played it on the uh, good turntable even. I save my scratchy records for our, you know, all-in-one all -in turntable just to not put our, our good needle through that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have this record. I'm, you know, greatest hits are a thing. So I, I'll do greatest hits. I got the Who's Greatest Hits. I have the Hooligans record too, that's like a double album. I believe it's got like a gatefold and the whole thing. That's another kind of greatest hits, but this is cool. It's got the, you know, Union Jack on the shirt with the, the Who. This one we almost didn't get because I thought we already had it. It's the Eagles, you know, you got Eagles records. Anybody got Eagles records? Like, if you collect vinyl, you probably got an Eagles record. <laughs> Eagles. Those are the freaking eagles, man. You can't, you'll get flagged and, and, and barred and, and struck down by Mr. Don Henley if you share any of that stuff on YouTube, which is kind of shitty. It, um, is. it is super shitty. People want to play his music on a guitar, I want to learn stuff. No, nope, you get a copyright strike. If you get too many copyright strikes, they'll take your channel down. That's just not cool. So, you know, Mazzy does those, what, wankers? I think, I think that makes. Henley kind of a wanker. He just doesn't know. He's just not educated on, I don't know, or he's a wanker. I love his music, though. I know, I love his music, too. But he's still a bit of a wanker. I'll say it. I don't like that. I don't like that about the guy. But it's the Eagles. And we can play this on our turntable, and it, you know, it won't get blocked or anything. It's on all the streaming sites, too, but... <laughs> If you're a YouTuber and dare to play any guitar, you're gonna get you're gonna get smacked, slapped on the hand by Don Henley. Just think of Don Henley dressed as a nun with a ruler, and you're a YouTuber. And he's like smacking you. Like, no, <laughs> that's 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 how I kind of look at this. So yeah, there you go. That's it for that? us. What? 
Napster. Oh yeah, people. Lots of people were pissed. Yeah, Napster. but that one guy, he was really at Napster, losing money and stuff like that. Lars. Lars. Yeah. Lars Ulrich. That was a whole thing. People burned their Metallica records. Oh. I know. People were smashing Metallica records. They were pissed. Still though. Yeah, I know. It's weird. <laughs> He's never. I don't know. Does he like said I'm sorry or anything for that? You can stand up now if you want. It. <laughs> Just rattling on. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. It really does help us out. Um, it's summertime. This is we get to enjoy for a few months our outdoor living space. So here we are. And uh, thanks again for watching. Till next time. There's a fire pit right over there, by the way. I'm not just recklessly lighting things on fire. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to. Later. Thanks for watching.